Video games. And so Steam has recently announced that they're going to be cl closing down their green light section and segueing into something else. And I don't really know as much about this story as Brendan does. So I'm going to transfer over to Brendan. Uh, Brendan, hit us up. Let us know. Green light, that was uh, their program to help get indie games out in front of people. And yeah, well, have, as, have as they... For them or, or something. <sighs> As I heard it described, it was really a matter of uh, helping Steam pick games to, to bring to their platform that they didn't necessarily think had a market or uh, enough of a market. They, they could be indie games or they could be you know, somewhere in the middle, bigger games, probably not AAA games, but, but other games that maybe were uh, bigger in certain regions that people wanted to, to come in. It was... Uh, one of the things that they, they mentioned in one of the posts about shutting it down was there were entire genres that they thought were very niche uh, markets that turned out to, to have a pretty big following and had they are now very large part of Steam. For instance, visual novels they thought was a extremely niche thing that no one was going to want. But now, uh, but from Greenlight, they found that, hey, People liked these. There was a bigger market for it than they expected, and people liked them a lot. And they now there's a lot of them on Steam. Um, but they they also mentioned they they started running. They tried to run like statistics. They were trying to solve a problem of people saying like, "Why isn't this awesome game on Steam?" And they're like, "Well, we we just didn't think it was a, a deal." Um, but also not so this have was Steam's to way of go in and just get every game. They because yeah. that's not feasible. Um, so this was Steam's way of kind of putting it out there for people to that might not have had access to certain games and kind of giving them access to it, but also kind of seeing what the community liked. Uh, this is yeah. this is their way of saying, OK, tell us what you want to play. Tell us what you want to see. Tell us what you want to do. And we'll bring you more of that. Yeah. That way, it, it sounds like a really smart, almost like a, a focus group. And they were just using everybody who's the Steam as part of that focus group. What do you want? We're going to give it to you and we're going to give it to you in droves. You just tell us what you want and that you will support it. And then once you do, boom, you're going to get more and more and more. So this is kind of like, like what democracy is supposed to be, <laughs> you know, the will of yeah. the people. I, I don't remember what all the details were for what the setup was. I think that there was still a level of application to get into the green light program and, Mm -hmm. Um, they, they did still curate it a little bit, but you got to say one threshold and then P it would be opened up to the community and you could tell your, your fans and followers to let steam know at that point, I want we this want green lit. I want this on steam. Um, keep it up permanently, whatever it is that it was going to be. I don't know if you got access immediately as it was on green light or not. I don't remember off right at the moment, but it was stages in order to, yes, be able to have everyone that was interested in a game, tell steam, this is a game I want on the platform so that they didn't have to just do the guesswork themselves or yeah, base things off good. their own taste, their opinions. Yeah. But uh, so the green light is going away as we know it, but they are bringing something else out in its place. Brendan, why don't you explain a little bit about that? So the Steam Direct is going. So after Steam Green Light is gone for a little bit, Steam Direct is supposed to open up. I think next next week, or either Steam Green Light closes next week, or Steam Direct opens next week. But I think next week is when the the transition uh, starts. And what it seems Steam Direct is doing is opening things up in a different way. They I don't know what's Steam Greenlight's requirements were before, but Steam Direct is going to require um, certain developers to put up $100 uh, to get into the program, which it's isn't pretty that bad. Yeah, it's not that bad, which they get back after they fund, uh, they get to like $1,000. So I think they're actually cutting out uh, a le level there. They're just trying to say, if you want to be on Steam meet our criteria they still had to like meet certain criteria i think they had to like still um be tested for some amount of time by valve valve has to do some testing to make sure it runs on the platforms that well yeah they don't want you just to put out garbage yeah they, like if it's not going to work they're not going to put it on steam so and they'll require people to do things like 
advertise the game and have a page ready for the game uh, at least a week or maybe 30 Suppo- days before. So they're asking like, okay, we'll put it on there, but you have to support your own game. Yeah, you have to support your game, sense. but also the $100 up front, I'm guessing, is so that they can cover those costs of yeah. having to do the testing themselves, of putting them on their servers and, and all that stuff so that they're not losing money on these ventures. But if people want to get it out there, here's a reasonable fee. And once you get to enough that we're making our profit back, then you can get that that fee back as well. So after $1,000 from sales, they get the $100 back. It sounds pretty fair to me, if you ask yeah. me. So it sounds like, yeah, we might be losing something that was a really cool idea, but we might still be getting something that's that's almost as good. Uh, but only time will tell. We'll have to see how it goes. But hit us up. Let us know what you think. Uh, what, are, what are your thoughts on changing from green light to direct? Uh, hit us up. Comments down below. Of course, at what's in my face on Twitter and Google Plus on Facebook. Uh, always good ways of getting a hold of us. 